Movement for Change, Ghana will rise again. Thank you all members of the Movement for Change, good people of Ghana, for your maximum support for Alan Kwejo Chematen by propelling him to the presidency of Ghana as the next president of Ghana and the first executive president who will form unity government with that national development plan for the betterment of all Ghanaians. Whilst we will still have the NDC, the CPPs, and the independence in parliament, ladies and gentlemen, this will give him the opportunity at that executive level to implement the GTP, the Great Transformational Plan. And that is a model that has made American economy successful, the European economies, France, Germany, United Kingdom, the Asian economies, South Korea, China. So this is a transformational leader. And that is why this election is more consequential than any other election in the history of our country. That's why it's more important. And so if you've not joined the Movement for Change, I will entreat you, encourage you to join the Movement for Change. Because when you join the Movement for Change, you can still stick to your existing political parties, NDC, CPP, NPPs. The Movement for Change is a vehicle with which we are propelling Alan Chomaten to the presidency, so he will be able to implement the GTP for the betterment of all Ghanaians. This is really important. This is the time for all of us to come together, ladies and gentlemen, as one people created by God with a common destiny to succeed. And we can make this happen together. He's a man of integrity, a sincere man, a man who has strong conviction, a transformational leader, who has strong conviction that together we can make Ghana a better place for all of us, for our, the future generation, for the youth, for our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren. This is the moment that we can all come together and make this happen. Now, the GTP seeks to grow the economy across the board in all sectors. In the field of our great modernization of our great sector, mechanizing it, discovery of additional cash crops driven by the market. In the area of industrialization, turning all of our finished, all of our products, raw materials, into finished products for home consumption and for export, thereby acquiring more of foreign exchange into our country, which will strengthen the city, which is, has now been weakened to the lowest level ever, because you need stronger currency for businesses to be able to thrive, those who go into import and export. Energy. Education, I've already talked about industrialization, tourism, making Ghana one of the tourism attractive, I mean, one of the tourism des destinations in Africa. Entertainment, sports, medicine, in the area of health, security, defense. The great transformational plan comprises of everything that you can think of in terms of growing the economy in all the most important sectors of the economy. Increasing export, as I've already talked about it, and then decreasing import. That's how you manage the economy. So you can have, you don't going to have deficits in terms of uh, balance of payment or balance of trade. Attracting more of capital level investment into our country that will lead to acquisition of more of technology which Ghana needs so much driving in more of foreign exchange through attraction of capital level investment into our country do you know the level of revenue that tourism alone will bring into our country Dubai use natural, I mean, use artificial, if you will, tourism, right? So really bring in more of revenue. Qatar, all those countries. We have the natural ones. 
Just that we need a transformational leader to take advantage of all of our economic advantages, ladies and gentlemen. Alan is a transformational leader, a visionary leader who will do this. Industrialization is important for creation of jobs, the agri sector. Investment, foreign, traditional foreign investment is also good for creation of jobs to the extent that whether you are skilled, unskilled, semi skilled, educated, non educated, highly educated, you will have a decent job with a decent pay with which you can take care of yourself, your family, your children, and actualize your God's given dreams and the talents for the betterment of yourself and society. Join the movement, ladies and gentlemen. Alan is going to be on the ballot in December, that's next year. You vote for him, then you vote for your member of parliament. Together, we can make this happen so that we can grow the economy to that prosperous level that will be enjoyed by all Ghanaians. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you. God bless our homeland, Ghana.